Welcome to one of the most demanding and challenging motorsport competitions on the planet, the World Rally Championship. Take some of the best drivers in the world, add some of the most incredible cars, and mix in some tarmac, gravel and ice to get about first across the line to race in the WRCs against the toughest rival of all, time. Each rally is broken into stages with points for the fastest times taken to complete the overall event. The cars themselves carry the names of some familiar family motors. But under the skin, they're purpose-built rally machines with four-wheel drive, turbos galore and horsepower counted in the hundreds. They'll need it too with conditions across the championship ranging from sub-zero Scandinavian forests to the overpowering heat and dust of Kenya and Greece. With the World Rally Championship, it's not just a question of winning, but surviving.
Welcome to one of the most demanding and challenging motorsport competitions on the planet, the World Rally Championship. The WRC now crosses the Atlantic to another Spanish-speaking country. Argentina offers almost every kind of terrain a competitor can face, from the vast dusty wilderness to mountain roads that snake up into the clouds. It takes a special kind of person to survive out on the open pampas, and it will take a certain kind of driver to do the same in the Rally of Argentina.
Welcome to one of the With just three rallies left before the end of the championship, Italy is the venue for the San Remo Rally. It unites many of the factors that make up successful WRC events, fabulous roads, wildly enthusiastic crowds and an incredible backdrop. It runs out of the Riviera Resort into the mountains and back again. The stages are on tarmac, but bad weather can leave them with a carpet of dirt, leaves and gravel. With the end in sight, no one can take San Remo for granted. Left 